All right, y'all, so look, let's talk about the 10 things that I learned from the Cat Williams Club Shay Shay video and how I feel these 10 things can help you grow your business and get better at marketing. You wanna make sure you stay tuned to the entire video because you don't wanna miss none of these gems because you can literally take this information and make a play. Let's just get down to it. Dreams don't work unless you do. All right, so number one, an extremely large platform. So if you guys didn't know, Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp's main YouTube channel has over 2 million subscribers, 2.08 million subscribers to be exact. So this was a perfect platform for him to choose to go on to do this interview to do the podcast. So what does that mean about you? That means you should be choosing platforms that are large for you to go on so you can get in front of more people more consistently with your message and your story about what you do and how you help people. Number two, controversial. So my guy said a lot of controversial things about an enormous amount of people. Like he was literally name dropping, right? Hold on, listen, wait, wait a minute. I took some notes. Let's just go over some of the people you talked about. So we got Kevin Hart, Ludacris, Tiffany Haddish, Cedric the Entertainer, Kim and Kanye, Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, Guy Tory, Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, Harvey Weinstein, Gary Owens, D.L. Hughley, Bernie Mac, and Michael Blackson. Number three, now, mentioning all of these people, what did he do? He bought a lot of celebrity influence. So number one, he mentioned a lot of people, he was name dropping a lot, which in some cases can be a good thing, right? If you're doing it, not necessarily to big yourself up and make it seem like you got a lot going on, but you're literally borrowing the influence of celebrities, actors, athletes, right? People that have a name. Now, all these people are highly searchable on YouTube and they are people that people are interested in. So for SEO reasons, that's gonna affect the views because people search these people's names up, they search these celebrities, these interviews are gonna pop up. It's genius. Plus, by mentioning these people, he's keeping people interested because people are nosy, they love drama. They wanna know what cat's gonna be saying about my favorite celebrity or about this person. Or in some cases, I never heard this story. What's he saying? Let me, let me, let me lock in. So what does that mean for you? What can you say about a competitor? What can you say about a brand? What can you say about a business? What can you say about your industry overall, right? That will make people interested. Or is there a prominent figure or prominent brand in your same category that you can leverage, that you can borrow their influence to get people more interested in your message. Number four, stories. So stories are extremely powerful and Kat told stories throughout this entire podcast. He told stories about literally everyone that I mentioned and more, cause I didn't mention everyone. I just mentioned a bunch of people that I took notes on, but he literally told stories about every single celebrity, actor, athlete, you know, that he mentioned in the interview. And you can do the exact same thing, right? Tell your message in stories, right? Tell stories and small anecdotes within the podcast. Don't just answer questions and leave it at that, right? How can you come up with ways to get people more engaged by the way that you're presenting the information, right? People like correlations, they like anecdotes, they like to be able to relate to the information that you're given. So stories are extremely powerful and Cat Williams use a ton of stories. Number five. Now, this is something that's extremely crazy, right? I realized this, I had to do the numbers and by the time you're watching these videos, I know the numbers probably change, right? But the repurposing and the redistribution of the content just on the page. So break this down, check this out. So the interview itself was about three hours, right? That's one piece of content. Off of this one piece of content, Club Shay Shay YouTube channel, they created 26 additional long form pieces of content. I call them segments. What's a segment? A segment is a short form, long form piece of content from the main piece of content. So we're talking about anywhere from like five to 10 minutes. So they literally created short form segments on different topics or different speaking points that Kat was making to combine, make 27 long form pieces of content, including the main video. The main video has gotten over 25 million views at the time of me creating this video and the 26 segments combined for 15.6 million views and counting for both of them, right? Now that's over 40.6 million views just from this one interview, right? So think about all the podcasts that you've created or long form pieces of content that you created. Maybe you're teaching something or maybe you can start teaching something. So that's just one piece of content. Are you talking about different subjects within this one piece of content? Are you making different references? How many pieces of content can you create off of the main piece of content that gives you more content for YouTube, which is gonna reward you 
and gives you more content you could just break up from that one long form piece of content. They did this incredible, right? They literally rocked this. I looked at, I literally counted. 27 pieces of content literally from the one long form interview. Number six, reporting and reviews. What is this? This is like YouTubers. This is content creators. This probably accounts for thousands and thousands of micro videos, right? This is people making a long form pieces of content reporting on what they heard. This is people making shorts, TikToks, um, reels, clips. This is people that are making rebuttal videos. This is people making confirmation videos. This is people making videos that's going against what he's saying. This is people just basically just doing voiceover. This is people literally doing talking head content, just talking about what they just saw, like just reviewing the content. Like, so this content was so like potent and viral. It literally spawned off and made all these other pieces of content. So other people can digest it, what makes the interest of going back to watch the long form video even greater. So again, what type of content can you make that other people can report on? Or what type of content can you get or say that you can also do reviews or reporting on in your category, in your topic? Number eight, Cat Williams literally gave away his gift. He gave away almost three hours of comedy, entertainment, storytelling, right? This That was like a huge lead magnet in on the heels of a 100 city tour that he's about to go on in 2024. All this is gonna do is make people wanna buy tickets, wanna buy merch, watch some of his old specials, like just get interested in seeing him live. This was great. He literally gave away something for free of extreme value. And that's literally the law of reciprocity. So we're literally gonna see how many of these cities sell out and how many people are gonna show up because of what he gave away. So what can you give away? What can you give away of value? What's valuable that you can either give away or that you can create that's going to make people ingratiated with wanting to get more from you, right? And if you don't have anything that you're giving away, now is the time for you to start thinking about what can I give away for free? What is one of the most valuable things that people come to me for that they would love to give for free, which is going to make them want to go a little bit deeper with you. Number nine, the man is a master of his craft. He put in the hours, right? He studies, right? He's one of the greats. He knows his audience. He literally went on his platform with intention. All these things that I mentioned, he knew what he was doing. I'm, I'm probably just reporting on the stuff that he knew from the beginning. He literally knew what he was doing. So can you be a master of your craft? Are you a master of your craft? Are you one of the best at doing Even if you're one of the people that people don't know yet, they don't know your brand, they don't know your business, they don't know your name. But are you coming? Are you studying? Are you putting in the hours? Are you waking up early? Are you going to go to bed late? Are you creating, creating, creating? Are you putting in the hours? Are you putting in the effort? Are you putting in the sweat equity? Are you becoming the best? And as you become the best, are you going to literally stand out because you are that guy, you are that girl, you are the one, right? So that's something that I definitely got. Number nine, mastering your craft. Can you be a master of your craft? Number 10. Now, look, this is what I feel like was a huge missed opportunity, and this is not having a call to action. So at the end of the interview, there was no call to action. What does that mean? He did not say, hey, text this number or go to this domain. He didn't say join this newsletter. He didn't give away nothing for free. That's not necessarily a bad thing. However, because this interview was so polarized, he's going to get some of that anyway. However, if he would have had a direct call to action at the end, a high percentage of people would have gave him the email email, gave him the number, right? They would have joined his newsletter, joined his community, just got on his list. And as he's going on his tour, he could have been literally pre-selling tickets by using this strategy, which, you know, again, he dropped the ball on. I feel like he would have got millions of data points, right? But it's all good. And that's something that you can learn, right? So when you go on these shows, when you go on these podcasts, are you giving away something for free? Are you giving away something that's going to allow people to give you their contact information? And if you're not, can you make that adjustment right now? So that next time that you uh, go on a show or a podcast or a live or whatever case may be, you literally have something for people to lock into. Like we got our newsletter. Click the link below, join our newsletter and get a little bit more information from us. But not having a call to action is a big, huge missed opportunity. So now you learn something from it. You want to make sure that you have one. Okay, so we just went over the 10 things that I learned from that interview and how you can literally utilize these 10 things to grow your business and also make more money in 2024. But I also want to give you three quick takeaways that I got from these 10 things to just give you some more bonus information. So number one, get in front of more people consistently. So this wasn't the first interview that Cat Williams has done. He literally did a couple of other interviews in December. And he's going to be doing more interviews. Matter of fact, because this one went so viral, 
there's going to be a lot of people that's going to want to have him on their platform because they're going to want to talk about what just happened. But then also they want to talk about what else he has going on. What other stories they didn't get a chance to talk about? So are you getting in front of more people? Can you get in front of more people? And can you do it consistently? I got a strategy 52W. That's one podcast a week, 52 weeks. That's 52 platforms. That's like 30 to 60 minutes a week. So can you devote that to your business or, you know, whatever frequency works for you? Can you at least get on one to two podcasts every single month? or get in front of people and talk about what you got going at least one or two times. Number two, always be thinking about different ways to market yourself. Now, he didn't go on his podcast specifically to sell a product or service. He just went on there and did a bunch of storytelling. But he went on this huge platform that has over 2.08 million subscribers. So what are other platforms or what are other opportunities that you can do to market yourself? All right. It doesn't always have to be a podcast, but what can you do to get more attention? What can you do to let more people know about what you have going on? Always be marketing abm always be marketing every single day what's what's one thing i can do to let at least one person know about what i have going on so abm always be marketing number three the last takeaway i got from you is start now a lot of y'all do not even let anyone know about what you have going on you literally market to the same people and you get your business by referrals and word of mouth and that's cool but that's the reason why your business is stagnant as far as your income coming in or just as far as your customer and client growth so when are you going to start i think cat williams showed that you should be starting right now and if you're watching this video you should be starting immediately always keep that in mind i want to be marketing i want to let people know about what i have going on and i want to use the things that uh that brennan told me from Cal Williams interview that I learned, I wanna implement at least half of these things into my business moving forward in 2024 so I can start getting more visibility, which is extremely important. So do me a favor, if you liked this video, if you got something from this video, if one of the 10 things resonate from you or one of the three takeaways resonate with you, do me a favor, actually do me two favors. One, leave a comment below. Let me know which of the 10 things or one of the takeaways really resonate with you. And then number two, share this video with at least one person that you think would benefit from this video, all right? So this is the 10 things that I learned from the Cat Williams Club Shay Shay interview and that I truly believe can help you grow your business um, in 2024 and make you so more money if you just implement at least half of these things and be consistent, all right? We'll see you guys on the next video. Hey creators, when it comes to content creation, are you feeling overwhelmed because your videos are a drag? Blah, 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 blah. Maybe you're spending too much time editing videos when you should be working on your business. Your brand deserves better and you'll need your time back. Introducing Podchop. We'll help you grow your brand and have more polished, professional and consistent content. We will do everything. All you need to do is create and submit your raw podcast or short form videos. We'll change your videos into more savable, shareable and engaging content. Sign up now. Start getting amazing videos fast.